Hello again. We're going to talk about some basic laws of probability. Um, this is lesson 6.9, so let's get started. These are the kind of things that you would see on a formula chart. So um, memorizing these is not as important as understanding um, how these laws uh, came to be and what they actually mean. So the addition law says that if I wanted to know the probability that A happens or B happens, then I'll take the probability that A happens, add the probability that B happens, and subtract the probability that they both happen. Now the reason that I subtract the probability that they both happen is because I counted those twice. I counted them as part of the probability of A and I counted them as part of the probability of B. So I counted them twice and I really only need to count them once. So that's why I subtract them off once. So I'm only counting them once. All right. Um, mutually exclusive events are such that the probability of A or B is just the probability of A uh, plus the probability of B. There is no probability that they'll both happen because that's the definition of being mutually exclusive. They're disjoint, there's no overlap, so the probability of any overlap is zero. So I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so let's talk about an example. Um, in a sample of 40 Coppell residents, 20 were adults, I'm calling that A. 15 were female, I'm calling that F. And of the adults, 11 were male, which means that the other nine were female. So are those two mutually exclusive, being an adult and being female? Well, no, because it's possible to be both. It's possible to be a female adult. So there is overlap between the adults and the females in those 40 residents. So what's the probability that someone in the sample is a female or an adult? Well, the probability of being an adult or a female is the probability of being an adult plus the probability of being a female minus the probability of being both an adult and a female. And again, the reason why I subtract those adult females out is because I've counted them twice. I've counted them as adults in the probability of A. I've counted them as females in the probability of F. So I can't count them twice, so I'm going to subtract them out once. That way I only count them once. All right, so that's 20 out of 40 for the probability of being an adult, 15 out of 40 for the probability of being a female, and 9 out of 40 for the probability of being an adult female. And once I add and subtract all of that, I get 26 out of 40. So 26 out of the 40 residents in that sample were either an adult or a female or both. So that is just uh, an example of how that works. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.